tragedy this morning in South Fargo's two people were killed in a house fire in the 1400 block of South uh, of, of, uh, sorry of Second Avenue South. LA News team's Alex Larson spoke to neighbors about the couple who lived at the home for decades. They are real people, not just a statistic, it's just real people. Lois Ellingson says she's known the victims for over 30 years. Salt and pepper. <laughs> you know, you just never thought of one without the other. And they were such a great couple together. They were so sweet. She tells us the couple was elderly. The husband was showing signs of dementia and the wife was having a hard time getting around. He would help her so carefully walk out to the chairs in the backyard and they'd sit and pretty soon he'd be a little bit antsy and he'd be down on his knees weeding and I'm going, you're 90, dude. Ellingson says they were active parts of the community. They were here, they were, they had rental properties, they were landlords. Um, they just, you know, and it's somebody that has been here and knows the history of the block and watched it grow and change and morph and see families come and go. She says the inseparable pair was always willing to help out their neighbors. It's, it's so hard, but they're together and I can't picture them being apart and I don't think one would have wanted to survive without the other. Ellingson says when the scene was cleared, she went to thank one of the firefighters. To know that he goes home at night saying to himself, like he said to me, if we could have been there a few minutes earlier. Firefighters said they had a particularly hard time battling this blaze. With the content was blocking paths and it made it difficult to you know, get in the house and, and so then, yeah, we have to use other means, you know, like windows or other doors or that type of stuff. Two firefighters fell into a hole in the floor of the house, but were able to get out. The home also partially collapsed, which slowed down the search inside. Tonight, Ellingson is mourning the two bright lights lost this morning. There isn't any way to change it. There isn't any way to make it different, but they do make an immeasurable difference for all of us. Alex Larson. The cause of that fire is still under investigation. The names of the victims haven't been released.